Hello there everyone, this is Sanyu and today we're gonna be going over the new um, Naruto Ninja Road. Okay, so I was able to actually um, do this under 100 uh, turns. Um, the, my first try I actually got it under 120. Um, so basically I'm gonna show you um, the teams that I use throughout um, the maps and what to expect. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick, but actually this past few days we uh, we actually have been under the weather. We were gonna do a few videos on um, on the upcoming stuff that we're gonna do and a Christmas special, but that didn't happen because uh, we're actually <laughs> recuperating from uh, getting sick. The weather keeps changing around here uh, too often, and germs are spreading around. But anyway. Um, as you can see, map 1 is just very easy, map 2 the same thing. Uh, honestly, I feel like you really don't need a guide for the first um, four maps. Uh, map number 5 can be tricky if you're not, you know, if you don't know what to expect, but um, I luckily got through with my first try. Um, but basically, Naruto on map number 5, he has, um, um, he's healing every turn and um, I think after his, uh, whenever it is his turn to attack, either he kills it with one hit or he regenerates all the all the health again. Um, as you can see on map number four, uh, QB uh, very easy. Two supers, two uh, ultimates can actually kill him. Um, all right, so <clears throat> we're gonna go to map number five. This one is actually not hard, but like I was saying, um, he can be tricky if you don't know what to expect. Um, I actually switched to this team and I used Kabuto because um, he has, uh, how do you call it, uh, healing and ninjutsu healing. Uh, if, you, if you're lucky you can get both, uh, but you know, for the most part uh, you actually nail the ceiling for uh, heal. I think, yeah I'm just gonna punch him. So basically mm, two supers and that's the end of that. It's real easy. Ninja Road. Honestly, I feel like this one is one of the easiest Ninja Roads I have played in a while. Um, I've been completing this since it came out, like it's already my 10th run. Um, just trying to figure it out, uh, new strategies on, on how to make this faster and this is the, the fastest method I can think of. Um, so if you, got, if you guys have a better uh, lineup, um, Please uh, leave it leave it in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions, and also uh, be aware when you leave comments. Uh, it also helps other uh, peers to, um, you know, get through this uh, Ninja Road and other uh, raids. Um, so for this one, I have uh, Kabuto, Naruto, and Kakashi and um, Sasuke because um, some of the bosses are a uh, skill. So obviously, uh, you can kill them real easy with. Uh, with hearts and I also do have Nagato in this team specifically because we're gonna actually need this team in specific for map number nine um, a lot of people are gonna have issues with map number nine just like the previous one it's like the pain you know like the whole pain battle uh, but this time it's all the Akatsuki members and it's really not that hard you may look intimidating but if you actually know what you need to do right from the get-go then you can actually uh, overcome it real fast and as you can see we're not even uh, that far into the um, into the video where you're on map number eight um, I did do a, a few mistakes where I wasted a few turns but we still stayed under the 100 turns so therefore um, it's still pretty fast I think it can go faster but um, like I said, I still been testing uh, on, on my playthroughs, and I feel like this one was the, the most optimal that I can get for you. In fact, uh, earlier I was gonna release a video on my first run because I actually completed it with uh, within the 120 turns, but um, I actually wanted to um, redo it because I, I felt like I could have done better because there was a few uh, mistakes that I did. But on this video, um, there is a few minor uh, errors, but it's 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 all good. Um, no biggie um, so yeah so for this boss um, you can actually go in for the kill and make it way faster but 
I'm trying to play it safe, so I'm actually just trying to uh, destroy all the parts before I actually uh, try to take on the actual boss. The reason the reason I do that is because at some point uh, uh, the Ten Tails is gonna do his ultimate, and if the other parts are still alive, he's gonna basically um, hammer you down with all his attacks plus the um, the ult his ultimate, and you're basically gonna, you're basically gonna lose your team. So that's why I actually go in for the parts first before going in for the kill. Um, I think I really haven't said it. Um, I don't think I said it right at the beginning of the video, but um, I hope you all had a wonderful uh, Christmas and um, I hope you all got what you wanted. And if you didn't, hey, um, there's always next year. <laughs> Alright, so going back to the uh, gameplay, um, this is going to get a little bit uh, repetitive. I like I said, I think I did a few mistakes here where I could have uh, done better instead of um, uh, wasting time here. But despite this, we still were right under 100. I think we were about uh, 80 between 85 between 85 and 90, I'll say uh, turns. And this guy can't really kill you if you actually destroy all the other parts, so you should be fine. Um, if you're duplicating all my teams, then you should be able to get this through uh, uh, no problem. I think the key characters here is having a team that has a lot of healing, kind of like this one that I have. And the reason I picked these is because uh, Obito has that um, um, the ultimate, I think, ignores the affinity as well as Kaguya's. Um, all that is always good for any situation, I think, in my uh, humble opinion. Um, but and then we have Sakura which is amazing at healing and then the reason I have that version of Sasuke is because he has the highest damage and you're gonna need him for the final boss because he uh, uh, because Naruto is actually a uh, um, hearts uh, boss and and that's this Sasuke does a lot of damage I know um, if you have actually the, the, the Naruto and Sasuke from the summon that's uh, happening right now um, that will make your life much easier. In fact, I feel like those two characters are o are very OP, and they can really do any raid in any map uh, much easier because that's how OP they are. But if you don't have them, like me, because I have neither of them, um, these this team will actually do the job pretty fast because we're still under a hundred, and I feel like for the most part, um, you know. A lot of people have these characters by now, so um, this shouldn't be a problem. If not, you can always substitute something that's close to or related to. And I also tend to, um, how you call it, um, put my characters in a specific order. That way we are good. Alright, so uh, as you can see, we killed the boss on map number 8. Here is the challenging uh, map. This is all over, just like the pain battle, but it's all the Akatsuki battle. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the one with Kabuto because he has a ninjutsu ceiling possibility, healing possibility, and um, also um, attack reduction. So he's really good for getting all these characters buffed down because that's what we really need. Um, as you can see, all the Akatsuki members have, um, they're basically immune to uh, immobilization, so don't even bother with that. Just have good nukers and good uh, healing uh, sealers and ninjutsu sealers and as you can see look I can get everyone and hopefully we're able to get a bunch of them I can see some ninjutsu seals I can see some attack reductions and healing so now we're going with Kakashi because he, he does hell of a damage here and I'm gonna do that ultimate they also have substitution which is annoying too so just be aware of that um, and they spam supers like non-stop but it's fine if you seal them and weaken them you have a better chance of living I think I do end up uh, losing this team earlier than I expected but uh, no problem the longer this team lives the more faster and easier this is gonna be the reason I have um, Nagato at the end is because he also has ninjutsu sealing and he also has uh, a healing uh, seal so that way, even if you don't hit him, even if you do damage, at least you can get in some um, stats in for the ones that you miss with Kabuto. So it's uh, 
CO, and then you have an attacker, a nuker for AoE, and then you have Nagato again for sealing. So as you can see, I died sooner than I, I, I wanted to, so now I'm switching to my other team. Um, this one again is just nuker, so all I'm going to do is just go in there and try to get as much damage and as much characters out before walking in with my main team because I don't want to basically um, <laughs> walk in and die and then that'll be the end of that but once you get past this map it's gonna be super fast so right now I'm using Hashirama uh, again he has ninjutsu ceiling all of these have ninjutsu ceiling at least in um, one member or two in each team minus I think my my main team does not have that but it's fine because we're using these two teams as kind of like a like a sacrifice uh, attackers more like the suicide squad um, these guys come in and try to uh, get as much damage in before dying and as you can see uh, I don't have any more juices for him so hopefully we can live and I can get some damage in before dying uh, looks like I'm gonna die hopefully I can take one out I think I can take this guy out and that gives me another turn and uh, what do I go for? What do I go for? I'll go for this. Okay, so it looks like I'm dead. Nope, I lived. I lived somehow. Alright, so we're gonna do a slash, try to get this guy out. Oh, he lived. Looks like I'm gonna die. I lived. Nope, I died. Took that back. It looks like I lived, but on and make sure I didn't come back from that okay so um, let's see uh, I'm doing that level one because um, it has attack down and jutsu ceiling possibilities as well I like having the chances to uh, the more you have uh, buffs down and ceilings on all kinds it helps you to, uh, to get through this uh, map and pretty much the this is uh, set. Once you get them down to um, to one character, you honestly you don't have to get all your um, your ultimates before going to the next map because uh, trust me, Naruto he's not that hard and he's not gonna kill you with uh, one super. Even when when I got hit by an ultimate with uh, I, as you can see I have Obito skill he hit him and I thought I was gonna die because you know he's weaker on affinity and no I, di I didn't even die I actually just got half my health down and I was like okay never mind and yeah you, there's no way you can die from Naruto unless you really try to get killed by him alright so as you can see that clear map number 9 which was the hardest one um, we're actually blazing through this and like I said we can actually go faster if I didn't make some little mistakes and decisions that I should enough and here honestly Naruto he's just he's just does two supers nothing special about it one is the AOE um, he just jumps in the air and then nukes you gets half of your health uh, for the most part but if you have a team that has high healing you, you're not gonna die there's no stats that he can that he gives you there's no switch ceiling there's no um, you know no kind of ceiling you should get through this boss pretty easy um, again if you have like um, the, the Sasuke for um, the end of valley Sasuke or the Disney to that you see right now uh, those are always good choices for any kind of uh, scenario in my opinion even for PvP but um yeah so basically um, if you um, do these steps this is gonna be real easy um, as you can see I'm doing right now Madara Super I tend to spam the level 1 because for the most part I get resets on them and I can generate chakra for my other characters but this is going to get really repetitive but we're still going to stay under 100 um, if you manage to stay this long with me um, I really appreciate it um, if you fast forward to uh, the, you know the parts you really were stuck in that's totally fine um, if you copy my team the way it is for each set then um, you should be able to complete this under 100 turns and pretty fast maybe uh, six max 15 16 minutes um, I don't know what the timer is right now but I think we're under we're still under that and um, 
if you're trying to complete under 100 turns, you, you always know that if it's under 100 turns, you, you know, it's a pretty fast run. If it's less than um, um, than 70, then you're, you're rocking it. Um, but yeah, so basically this Sasuke does a lot of damage. And that's why I kept him in here. As you can see, Naruto is like already like halfway dead. Um, so yeah, uh, if you really like this um, this series of uh, Naruto Blazing, I'm gonna keep doing them. Um, um, if you have any suggestions for speeding up this process or uh, any other future, uh, you know, video requests, I can also do those. Um, if you don't know, I actually do a lot of um, cosplay stuff too. So if you're not into that weep stuff, that's, that's fine too. But uh, I really like anything with uh, anime. And manga and any kind of uh, anime like uh, video games um, so if you guys have been sticking around uh, through my channel for a while me and, and Karin uh, do cosplays and other stuff besides the, the video games here um, but we we really enjoy um, you know the community it's actually a pretty um, awesome um, community I know there is uh, always the ups and downs in all kinds of communities I'm talking about like, gaming cosplay uh, whatever you're into, I think that um, whatever it is that you're into, just uh, enjoy it and just know that uh, you're not going to make everybody happy. The reason I'm going to this because like, <laughs> I want you to uh, not get thrown off if you see cosplay videos and then you see gaming videos and then Naruto blazing. Anything with um, this channel is mostly whatever weep stuff. Uh, you can think of <laughs> but yeah I really enjoy uh, uh, you know talking to um, people and making videos uh, I really enjoy making these kind of videos I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty much not in uh, very specific to, to to one thing I like to do multiple things and we end this we actually killed um, Naruto with uh, Obito and that was mission complete as you can see I think it falls under 60 a little bit over 16 minutes uh, I think it could have been faster as you can see I got the last pearl I already had run this this is my fastest time which was uh, the 100 turns and if you have any suggestions or comments uh, please leave them in the comment section please leave a like share share uh, uh, this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's I expect more videos coming soon and until next time sign you signing off